The host of Cosmos, the science show, Neil deGrasse Tyson, has a pretty unique ability to inspire wonder in the young, to get them interested in science, perhaps to go into scientific careers. And so, of course, he must be destroyed. And Fox is taking that up as their mission. One of their guests on the uh, extremely popular Red Eye program decided to levy an attack at Neil deGrasse Tyson. Let's watch. I hate this guy. <laughs> okay. I remember hearing Chris Hardwick on a podcast talk about Neil deGrasse Tyson, and he was just salivating. White liberal nerds love this guy so much, he could defecate on them like Martin Bashir's fantasies, oh, and please. they would dance in the streets. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, mm. I love Neil deGrasse Tyson. He has never offered to defecate on me. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll have to cross that bridge when I get to it. But <laughs> anyway, like, so the, so by the way, the, the guy that you saw there, who's been on Fox many times, I believe this 18 is the times. Mo the, the worst part of this entire story is that this guy gets on their air all the time. He's a, he's all a the time. Former, virulent racist. Yeah, former co-founder of, uh, of Vice. He's not, he hasn't worked there in six years, I believe now. Since 2008? Since 2008, yes. And so we have a bunch of other past uh, comments of his, but specifically to attack Neil deGrasse Tyson, who I find to be one of the least offensive human beings in the world. It's like when people attack Ellen over an ad she did or something like that. All he wants to do is inspire people to be curious about the world they live in. That's the, the, that's the beginning, the middle, and the end of his entire mission in life. And he, he came up from an incredibly poor start. He's very poor. He became one of the, the best science communicators and also a renowned scientist in his own right. What, what it's amazing. His brother, Mike, was a great boxer. Right. So <laughs> it's, uh, and, uh, it's, it might be the wrong, wrong guy, Mike. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. He, he, what, what does he want to do again? What does is, what is the, all he, Mark, the Tyson want to do? To get people to be interested Inspire in the world. people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate that guy. I feel like I'm being defecated on it. Why doesn't he just shit in my mouth? Why doesn't he just shit in my mouth, John? <laughs> he, he basically already did. What is happening to this? So he hates why, him so why does he hate him? Because he probably hates and distrusts science, fundamentally, this guy. Uh, and he knows that, that people are rallying behind Cosmos, they're getting interested. I, I mean, it's, he talks about things like climate change and stuff like that. He gets you to actually care about the facts behind the things that are happening to you and then that are happening to the world you live in, like I said. And so they have to discredit him the same way they do with Bill Nye and, and other people who stand in a strong way for science. No, you're right, but there's a second component. He hates him because he's black. Yeah, that probably. Right. Okay, I mean, so he, I'm not but just pulling that out because Gavin McGinnis uh, is a, a vicious racist, which we'll get to in a second, but he, he went on to say, and he, yeah. uh, well, we actually, we have a second okay. clip that gets right, right, let's watch put him on right television, though. That's yeah. the problem. Okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's watch this show. and then we'll talk to tell you who he shouldn't be on TV. And he talks about things like, when I was young in New York, I would get racially profiled when I go into stores. Back then, he looked like he was in the Warriors. He had a huge afro and a cut-off shirt, and New York was a war zone. Sorry, you fit the profile. And all Why don't we is, get into this? <laughs> I want to talk about aliens. <laughs> all he does is complain about his lot in life. What? When yeah. is, when did, I mean, Neil deGrasse Tyson's talking about, hey, you should have sympathy for people because of what happened to me decades ago, right? But he's not complaining about his life. He's saying, look at, and look at where I, uh, why I wound up yeah. in a great life. Like, right. here's how you can get there, right? Well, he was talking about how people discouraged him from a uh, career in science because he was black. Right, yeah. and he still got there anyway. Yeah. Yes. That, yeah. that was his whole point. Anyway, yeah. it doesn't matter. And this guy's saying like that it's okay, okay to have profiled him decades ago for some reason. Because he had an afro. He had an afro. I was in because New York decades ago. That's where I lived, and you didn't, like, you were you don't just profile somebody because they have an afro and it was Warriors then. It was a movie, Warriors, yeah. you know? It's yeah, not a great one either. But yeah, yeah and, and look great, at him. I, I mean, to, to, to continue a line of attack that Fox is, is, has loved over the past week, with his long beard there, he kind of looks like a member of the Taliban. I think we should racially profile yeah, him. That's a yeah. good point. So how did they get Where away with bringing on this racist guy who's like a confirmed racist? Like, that's what I want to know. So, okay, like so let's give people the background yeah, on why him. Don't we read so it's some not just comments. this clip that convinces what a racist exactly. he is. So go ahead. Yeah, so here, uh, this is from Media Matters. They compiled some of the things that he said in websites that he's blogged for. Uh, McKinney has referred to Asian Americans as slopes and rice balls, suggested Muslims are stupider and more violent due to inbreeding, defended blackface because some, some minstrel shows were just mimicking black people, and they were fun. He's back to the racist comments of Duck Dynasty's Phil Robertson and argued that to yell the N-word at someone is not racist, it's just very rude. In addition, he has compared being a single mother to child abuse, claimed that women who join the workforce are generally not doing what they naturally want to do, and said that having short hair is like rape. Mm -hmm. 
What? Um, what City's is, got a long history. Years women having just, short hair is like, I don't understand. Yeah, it, you, look, don't bother trying to figure the guy out. He's written for V Dare, with, uh, which is Southern Poverty Law Center, ident identifies as a white nationalist group. He's written for Tacky Magazine, which is a paleo conservative group that has overtly racist articles. Uh, and uh, and it's run by neo and it also has neo confederates on it like yeah the confederacy we should go back to that I mean the list goes on and on Vice got rid of this guy because they said he was a liability and by the way it goes to show you right. if you're if you're racist how stupid you are if he stayed with Vice he probably would have been I don't know how rich he is now because he was one of the founders but he probably would have be been richer. substantially richer if he had stayed with Vice but he's too stupid to know what's right what's good even for himself let alone anyone else. And so, I mean, look at all the things that this guy says. And now, to Michael's point and what John was bringing up, the five has had him on repeatedly, uh, but Hannity has, in prime time, has also had him on 18 times so far in 2014 alone, okay? So this guy who's clear, obvious, overt racist, br like pr pretty much brags about it, right? Fox News is like, great, that's my guy. All right, let's bring him on and have him make fun of Neil deGrasse Tyson. That guy's black. <laughs> he talks about science and he's black. What a weirdo. But, uh, but it's all right because um, after that segment that we just saw, Melissa Harris-Perry apologized for it. <laughs> <laughs>